So, so let me list the thing what we just did. So we showed that f is continuous on the interval closed interval negative one three. Also we showed f is differentiable at negative one three in the interval negative one three. And we showed that the height of the function at negative one and three at the boundaries are equal. So we can apply the Rolle's theorem, right? So by Rolle's theorem, there exists a point, at least a point C, at least a number C in the interval A, B between A and B where F prime of C equals to zero. So what is F? f prime of x f prime of x is basically uh, x square right and then plus 4x minus 1 square my plus 4x minus 1 over x plus 2 square that was f prime of x right but we need to do f prime of c equals to zero i mean you can do f prime of x equals to zero you'll get the same thing but just wanted to stick with that so what is f prime of c then it will be c square my plus 4c minus 1 divided by x plus 2 square equals to 0. How do I solve this for c? I need to multiply both sides by x plus 2 square, right? x plus 2 square times x plus 2 square. If I do that, what do I get? You cancel this with that one. And this becomes 0, right? So basically, you will get c square plus 4c minus 1 equals to 0. Now, you want to use the quadratic formula for that. What is c equals to negative b? right plus minus b square is uh, 16 minus 4 a c is negative 1 divided by 2 times 1 how much is that negative 4 plus minus root under 16 and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 1 is negative 1 is positive 4 right so 16 plus 4 is 20 divided by 2 you see that so I want to split the denominator. I will get negative 4 over 2 plus minus. What is root under 20? You can write root under 20 as like 4. Root under 20 can be written. Root under 20 can be written as 4 times the 5, right? But what is 4? 4 will be, root 4 will be 2. So 2 can be written outside. So what, how does it look like then? 2 root 5 over 2 because that 4 root 4 under the root there is 4 times 5 4 is 2 so I can write root 4 is 2 I can write that outside and then 5 is still inside right now what I am doing is I am cancelling those out that 2 and 2 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 so what is left is negative 2 plus minus root under 5 but we are looking only in that interval right only in that interval so which value lies in that interval if you take negative sign you will get negative 2 minus root 5 will be bigger than negative 4 uh, or smaller than negative 4 because it has negative sign so only the plus sign lies if you take plus sign here that will fall between negative 1 and 3 so the final answer is c equals to negative 2 plus root under 5 because the, uh, the negative sign will give you produce a number that is outside this interval okay so let us do the uh, last example on the Rolle's theorem determine if we can apply Rolle's theorem for this problem. So fx is 5 cosine pi x. So what are the things we check? We check the continuity, right? The first thing we do is fx is continuous in the interval, in the interval 0 to 2 and also on the boundary, right? Because it is on the closed, uh, closed interval. Why? Because the cosine and sine functions are continuous everywhere. That's the reason. How about the derivative? Let's find out the f prime. f prime of x is equals to it is like 5 cosine u you see that it is like u if it was just a cosine x the derivative will be negative sine x since there is 5 and then uh, if there was just 5 sine x cosine x the derivative will be negative 5 sine x but there is pi times x so it will be 5 times negative cosine u is pi x times the derivative of u the u prime is pi so you get negative 5 pi cosine pi x so this is also exist everywhere right so the differentiability also true how about the uh, the height of the function at the end points what is f at 0 is 5 times cosine pi times 0 will be cosine 0 cosine 0 is 1 so it is 5 and how about uh, f at 2 f at 2 will be 5 cosine 2 pi. Cosine 2 pi is also 0, right? So 5 
times cosine zero. Oh, sorry, cosine two pi, uh, cosine two pi will be one. Okay, so five times one is also five. So f zero equals to f of two. So it satisfies all the condition of rule theorem. Hence, by rule's theorem, theorem, there is at least one c in the interval 0 to 2 such that so that f prime of c is equals to 0 so we need to plug in c on the f prime of x right so how do you do that so you do uh, this is the f prime right so negative 5 pi and then cosine pi times c equals to 0 let us divide both side by negative 5 pi so what do you get you get cosine pi c equals to 0 so what value what value of cosine give you 0 what angle of cosine give you 0 so you write pi times c equals to 1 is pi over 2 the other is 3 pi over we'll have to divide by pi though we'll have to divide by pi so that's fine okay so there are other values too so so what is c then c will be divided by pi it will be one half divided by pi three half and there may be other but that will be uh, sorry three half not three over pi three half right and then there may be other values but that will be outside this interval so what are the values of c these are the values of c that lies inside this interval where the slope is parallel to the x-axis okay so uh, these are some of the examples so basically these problems all the rolls theorem and the mean value theorem are, are in section 3.2 so the next thing i am going in the next video will be the still in the section 3.2 but that is the mean value theorem okay